One of the hardest things to do in Madden is reading the defense. By far, if you can learn to master how to read the defense, it will significantly improve your game and help you become uh, a lot better of a player. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel, where our entire mission here is to try to help people get better, take their game to the next level, take their next steps in Madden, and uh, really try to help them become better players. We do that through all, so all sorts of different types of videos, and I would encourage you that if this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, that you would uh, ask some questions if you need help with certain things, and we would love to answer them. And then I would also encourage you that if you haven't already to just subscribe to the YouTube channel, that way you can get notified and accessed when um, we launch future content. All right, guys, let's talk about reading the defense. This is one of the trickiest things that you have to master. Um, in my opinion, one of the most difficult things, too. And what I've learned when it comes to, you know, really being good at mastering reading the defense, it's very, very difficult to, in my opinion, in my opinion, it's very, very difficult to make the right decision every play. Uh, it is. But here's here's what I would suggest, and I've talked about this a lot, and it's going to take some really key listening on your end to get get what I'm about to say. But here's an in a nutshell what I have learned. Most defenses, um, most defenses are going to run very specific plays to do very specific things. Okay, so you have to first ask yourself what what about this defense threat? What is threatening? Okay, what is threatening? So, for example, if they have a guy off the edge here, like this guy on the right side of the line of scrimmage is not threatening to me at all because he's not pressed up. He's not in a blitzing type of stance. To me, there's no blitz here possible that they could really do. So that's where, you know, I'm going to use savvy. I'm going to you know, maybe check down to a run, or I would know then in that scenario they can't blitz me. So they're going to have to be running a base coverage um, or a basing what I would call a base blitz coverage defense, whatever you want to call it, but a base defense of like a cover two, cover three, cover four. Then the next thing that you would want to do, um, in my opinion, um, the next thing that you would want to do, in my opinion, is you have to identify what what would make sense for the defense to do. What would make sense for the defense? In, in light of their alignment, what would make sense? So, Right there, Tampa 2, the corners were pressed up, but they weren't. And you can tell if someone baselines and presses because everybody on the team presses. Here, as you see on the left side, that slot corner is pressed up. On the right side, he's not. That tells me that the guy on the left is the guy that I need to worry about. And the guy on the right, I'm not really that scared about. So we check down to a run, um, which, you know, obviously standard goal line defense. But you would do this over and over again. And I'll show you a little bit about it uh, when I go on offense. But... Um, it's a little bit tricky this season because of the ability of the press alignment to really do a lot against um, against the offense. The press alignment is by far uh, tougher this year than it ever has been. And so there's, a, there's one more thing that I want to talk about real quick when it comes to reading the defense. This is all things that you can do post or pre-snap. So the first thing to revisit it, the first thing you want to do is you want to ask yourself, what is threatening about the defense? Where can they blitz me from? What 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 are they probably going to do? Who's their user player? All of these are questions that you need to answer um, over the course of, you know, looking at a pre-snap play. Um, you really need to answer those questions. Those are really critical because they inform so much about the defense. If you can ask, ask yourself those couple questions. The next thing, and I want you to look at my defense here. So if you look, ask yourself these questions. So what's threatening? And what's not? If you see press on the outside, um, there's a chance they're in cover three, so you want to take a shot every now and then um, with the cover three defense. But you see there, um, very disguising defense. Looks like cover two. Uh, we pulled out into cover three. We end up getting the interception. So uh, let's look at, take a look at his defense now, and I'm going to show you a couple things that you can do. Now the best players are going to make everything look the same every time, and that's what makes it a really tough. Um, matchup. You saw the Steelers Patriots matchup. Brady was fooled several times. So here you can see. So threatening. What's threatening? Well, he's probably got left edge heat coming because the left, the left side guy is in a blitz alignment. Now he moves him in. So now there's really nothing threatening to me. Um, this is a standard, probably a standard cover two of some type. Um, nope, it's a cover zero blitz. Okay, it breaks out, and uh, we end up getting a one on one.
So I knew that he was either blitzing crib, which would be this right here where you said cover zero blitz, um, or cover two. So now you look at the safeties. The safeties, in my opinion, is, is the best, biggest key. So it brings a safety down. It's two guys out, bounced out to the left. This is telling me that this is more than likely some type of some type of blitz right up the middle. Um, so we'll look to the left side, the snap of the ball. He goes man-to-man. -man. Uh, we're able to hit Julian Edelman in a one-on-one -on -one situation for a touchdown. The next thing that you can really look at is the safeties and what are they probably going to do. And again, this is a constant, um, a constant learning, constant experience for you guys to ask yourself these questions of what are they probably going to do, where do they threaten me, what are, what are the areas that I'm weak. You have to ask yourself those questions, and a lot of times they can inform what the defense is probably going to do. So that's just a little bit of how I would uh, consider and help teach reading the defense in Madden 18. Hopefully this video helped. If you have questions, let me know. How do you guys read the defense? What are your tips? Because this is something I have not figured out. I really would like to know your tips and like to learn from you guys in the comments. So please leave a comment and let me know.